All right, cool, man. Looks like uh, looks like we're live. So, well, thank you so much for being here. I'm uh, with Grant Wise from Whitley. I mean, so many things that you have, like different um, on endeavors that you've got going, man. I, I love I love watching the I love watching the hustle, like your hat says. It's super awesome. Thank you for being here. I appreciate that, man. Yeah. So. Um, as people get on here, uh, remember, go ahead and comment one to 100 down in the comments. Uh, leave a number one to 100, and we're going to use that to uh, decide who's the winner. Um, today, what the prize is we're giving away um, is a free campaign from newlistingleads.com. You're going to get 30 home buyer leads for any property that you choose in your local market. And uh, so, yeah, that's what we're going to give away at the end. So comment any number one to 100 down below while we're here on the live. And after Grant's awesome Facebook ad tip, then um, – we're going to pick the winner using the random number generator. So, man, thank you so much for being here. This is so awesome. I'm pumped to talk to you because, like, I've been, I've been watching you and just following your stuff, man, since, like, 2013 or something like that, you know? Uh, uh, like maybe 14 or 15. Yeah, maybe 2014. It was, around, it was around the time, I think you started working with Gulliver around 2014-ish. And it was that like, was late, yeah, late 2014. Yeah, it was, like, all right in that kind of time frame, man. So it's been super awesome to watch your growth and everything that you're doing with, uh, with your business and with all the realtors that you're helping. Like, people will talk about you every day. So it's, it's cool to be able to watch that stuff. I appreciate that. Very humbling. Thank you. Awesome. So uh, I know you said you had a little tip around, um, around helping realtors to be able to sell more houses uh, on Facebook. You want to get into that? Yeah, I got a bunch of tips. How long you got? <laughs> How long you want me to go? What do you What do you want? What do you want to make happen right here? Right, it, it's up to you. Like uh, you know, you could you could go for like five ten minutes. You know, whatever you want to do. Okay, great. Uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna riff for here just for a second. So if if I get to where I'm going for too long, you just tell me to shut up. All right, cool. But, uh, I think that <clears throat> there's a lot of things that real estate agents can do and can do exceptionally well to generate leads using Facebook advertising in this business. But I don't think that that's even the concern anymore for some people. I think for the concern for some people anymore is how do I not just generate leads, but how do I stand out from maybe the five, 10, 15, 20 other real estate agents in my community that have now learned that Facebook ads is this golden honey hole of ways to go ahead and, and drum up business. So there's a few things that you should understand. First of which is the mindset around the consumer that you're working with. I think it's one of the most important things that you can understand, which will help you see maybe why some of the stuff that you're doing isn't working or maybe why it's not working well enough and, and a, a couple things that you could do to fix that. So first, <clears throat> there's three basic mindsets that a consumer has when it comes to buying a property or selling a property. And this may sound very kindergarten, but the first is unaware. They're unaware of desire. And that is what we as marketers get the opportunity to leverage desire. It's not anything more, it's not anything less. It's this desire that is built in a prospect uh, as they come into some type of situation. So this would be the reason things like maybe billboards don't work as well. If you were to look at an impression report at how many people viewed that billboard versus how many people took action, uh, you might not be so pumped about the results or that shopping cart advertisement that you were super pumped to pay $60 a month for isn't yielding you the most fruit, right? These are some of the reasons that you understand why because you're hoping that somebody driving down the street who's not looking at the road and not looking at their cell phone is going to look up at your billboard and say, oh yeah, I need to buy a house. I got to call that guy. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's just not how it works, right? The reason that what we do works so magically is because we market to people that are in this second phase of awareness, which is home aware. This is when a buyer or seller is aware of this desire they have around the real estate process. Okay, This is where the magic happens. This is also where so many people make so many mistakes because I believe you can put the right message in front of the right person at the wrong time or you can put the right message from the wrong person at the wrong time. Okay. If you are marketing in somewhat of a traditional way, this is what we see a lot of mistakes are because real estate agents, they'll just put this beautiful face. They got that seventies headshot that looks so good. That hair that's poofed out to here. They'll start marketing a lot of those things first. And if that's your first introduction to a prospect, that's aware of some desire they have around buying real estate or selling real estate, it's not often you're going to be able to stand out or win because what's happening in this moment, you're trying to give people what they need and you should give them what they want. <clears throat> what they want is to purchase a property or what they want is to sell their home. They don't necessarily understand that they need you yet. 
And this is why companies like Zillow absolutely dominate a real estate agent's marketplace because they do nothing but give the agent or the consumer what they want. If I am a buyer in 2017, 49% of people that wanted to buy a home also had a home to sell. If I'm a seller and I'm laying in bed at 10 o'clock at night and I'm like, man, I think I want to sell my home. The first thing I'm going to go do is where am I going to move next? Where am I going to live? Even if I have to rent, what's going to happen? I'm going to go start searching, right? I'm going to start like, hey, where can I go? What am I going to do? And that's how so many introductions are made. But what's powerful here is that when somebody goes from phase two or the second level of awareness to home aware, they, they move into this third phase, which is home plus you aware. And they're now aware of desire that they have, and they're aware that you can help them mentally, psychologically. This is where the magic happens, and this is also where millions of realtors fall on their face every day. Because if I call you and you don't answer your phone, I'm never calling you again, right? My follow-up is maybe not so dialed in. I don't know what retargeting is. I'm not really putting myself out there really consistently. When people go to buy a home, they don't wake up on Tuesday and say, I want to buy a half a million dollar property and then go do it, right? <laughs> they plan. This is, a methodically thought, this is a methodical process. This is something that somebody sits there and plans and plans and plans and plans and plans. So what are you doing as an agent from the, the day they create desire to the day they actually purchase a home, which is usually 30, 60, 90 days, six months, right. a year. But what are you doing in that time frame? This is why you're missing out on so many deals. So if we look at that, we understand the consumer mindset. I think that it can completely and totally alter the way that we think about marketing our businesses. We got to stop trying to give people what they need when you give them what they want. Yeah. What you're giving away today 30 free leads, marketing somebody's listing, is in my opinion, one of the single greatest front-end marketing campaigns that you could run. And I think that if you take a listing, just like Zillow does, they take your listing, and you put it out there to market, what's gonna happen is you're most likely gonna sell the property. And it might not be from Facebook ads, it's probably gonna be from the MLS or an open house or something like that, which is totally cool. What's so valuable in this situation is that you just pulled in 100 leads, exactly. 200 leads. So you went from renting media from Facebook to owning media in your business. Names, email addresses, phone numbers, physical addresses. People that you can now talk to every single day about buying or selling property, right? So using the listings that you have, create a little simple like landing page, run traffic to it, get people to opt into it, and then now start talking to these people every day. Now this is, if you look at our marketing strategies, we break things down in levels, level one, level two, level three. On the first level of our marketing campaigns, we're generating leads. That's, what we're, that's our whole goal is we're just trying to get leads into our systems. On the second level of our marketing campaign, we are trying to build a brand. We're trying to seem omnipresent. Most importantly, we are trying to build a relationship. Something that it seems like 1.2 million people have all of a sudden forgot, and I'm talking to all the licensed real estate agents in the United States of America, <laughs> is that you're trying to win friends. You're trying to build relationships. You're not trying to sell houses because if you don't build trust, develop loyalty, create faith in, in the people that you're working with, you're never going to get the opportunity to do that ever. You won't sell a house a month. You might sell a house a quarter. You'll ride the ebbs and flows and you'll get out of the business in two years. Okay. You're remarketing, which is where somebody opts into your campaign. Maybe you've got a pixel on a landing page or you're remarketing a, a lead form, something like that. Your remarketing should be video-based content around you, the person they're now trying to build a relationship with, the process, and the community that you live in. So, Nick, the reason that we talk about this, and I think it's so crucially important, we have been programmed since we were little kids to celebritize what we see behind a TV screen. Like, right. it's just somebody sat us down and said, watch this cartoon, don't get up, don't bother me, and I became a huge fan of, in my day, it was like Tom and Jerry and those different types of things, right? But I became fanatical about these things that I saw on TV all the time. And there's a reason that that happens, but I want to start with this example. Okay, Nick, who do you follow? Maybe celebrity, musician, uh, maybe, you know, who do you follow that you, you have a, a lot of affinity for? Uh, well, oh, like uh, right this second, uh, maybe like Logic, the musician, or... Logic. Okay, uh, yeah, different rappers and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I'm a, I'm a '90s hip hop guy. We can get down on some of this stuff. I don't know if Logic is, but anyway. Um, 
All right, so let's say that I started this Facebook Live off and I just bad mouth on logic. Like, yeah, he's no good. He's garbage. He sucks. His rhymes are no good. He, I think he's got a terrible sound. What would you immediately, innately do? I try to defend him. Probably try to defend him. Like, Grant, F you. Like, you don't even know what you're talking about. Logic is the best thing ever, right? And the reason that we do that is because of what I just explained. We have been programmed since we were kids to celebritize these people that we don't even know. There's a psychological term for this. It's called a parasocial relationship. It's where a person, one person builds a relationship with a character, and that character has no idea that we even exist. So do you know Logic personally? No. Does he know you? No. Right, no. But we feel this blind faith, blind loyalty to defend this person that we don't even know. So my question then becomes, if you're a real estate agent, Joe Schmo, Susie Sue, whatever your name is, how would you like it if your market was full of people that do not know you personally, but are out there blindly defending you, referring you, and loyally sending you new customers every day? right? This is where that video remarketing, dynamic video remarketing becomes so powerful is because we are now not one-to-one, but one-to-many at the same time, giving ourselves the ability to build relationships with people all over a marketplace that simply by seeing us in video form on our phone are turning us in their minds into celebrities that they must associate themselves to. Yeah, totally. There's a lot of powerful stuff. So that was a lot. I just threw it at you. Hopefully, you guys were able to pull out some golden nuggets. Um, but yeah, awesome. uh, there's there's some good stuff in there. So so for somebody watching that's like it doesn't have any retargeting in place, isn't doing any of that thing. What what would be like one tip they could do today to to take action on that? That's a great 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 thing. Um, so first thing you could do, pay Nick to teach you. <laughs> that's number one. Second thing that you could do is after you pay Nick, go call your loan officer, the one that you do business with, and say, hey, will you record a five to 10 minute video with me, and I'm just gonna ask you the top five things you should do to purchase the home. Okay, that's really simple. That's a three minute video, five minute video. If you're bashful on video, you don't even have to do all the talking, Mr. and Mrs. Agent watching this, or Mr. and Mrs. LO watching this. You can literally just interview somebody and let them do all the talking. Take that video, and make that the content for your remarketing. What you're doing is what I just explained. You're generating a lead and then you're starting to build influence. You're starting to build a brand. You're starting to build a relationship just simply by providing education. Now here's, if you want a little power pro tip, here's how you can amplify that. We make decisions based on three key factors. Gain, logic, fear. Little Ryan Dice for you. What do I stand to gain from this? Logically, does this make sense? Fear, am I gonna miss out on something that this person's offering? So. Have your loan officer say, somewhere in the video, give them something. So logically, they're giving them tips to purchase a home. That makes sense. Boom, trigger, done. What am I going to gain? Have the loan officer give them something. Hey, if you book an appointment with Jerry, the real estate agent today, to learn about purchasing a home, I'm going to pay for your appraisal, or I'm going to give a free credit pool, or I'm going to do something, right? So boom, check, gain. Now I've not only am I make, learning stuff from this, I'm gaining something from watching this. Mm-hmm. And the last thing, I only have five of these that I can give out. You have 72 hours. Book your appointment now. Fear, right? I got to take action right now because if I don't, I'm going to miss out on what this guy's going to give me. So there's things that we can do in our videos. These videos can be so simple, so easy. You don't even have to do any talking. Just interview other people in your community and you'll create some powerful associations in the marketplace. But use those three points. Logic, gain, fear. Try to get them to give something away and put a timeline on it because agents don't really, agents, um, unfortunately, I don't want to say the word victim. I don't think that's the right word, but agents don't really use scarcity. It gets used a lot on them because agents are like, hey, if I don't buy this guy's leads right now, you know, he's going to take the offer away. (laughs) But they don't necessarily use it in their own business. So if you could take just simple things that maybe other people offer and put some scarcity in there. Like, hey, I only got three days to give this away. You know, go to your local lawn guy, interview him when spring comes in. Hey, here's five things you should do to take care of your lawn. Have him give away the first cuts free or something like that. Then you're adding value, right? You're giving them something tangible, something free for watching you and taking action. And then you're able to mix a little scarcity in there where you can get people to actually take action. And that's what you know, a lot of real estate agents have conversion rates anywhere from zero to 5%, zero to 8%. 
on the front end, which means that Facebook can be really powerful, but we forget about the 90% of leads that we have in our database now that aren't going to do anything for several months if they're going to do anything at all. So, yep. Awesome. That's great, man. Really appreciate that. Those are, those are definitely good tips. I like the uh, game logic and fear, those ideas. I haven't heard that before, so that was, that was really cool. I already good deal. And think about how I can use that. I feel like I'm kind of doing that here, but you know, giving people things, giving away free gifts. They can only get it while they're on the live. Absolutely. You know, like, might Absolutely. And not even realize it. All right. I'm going to pull up the uh, random number generator and so we can figure out who wins. If you haven't already, drop your number in the comment, one to a hundred. We're going to see who's going to win right now. Somebody's going to win uh, a free single property campaign and 30 free leads. All right. Number today is number 17. Oh, I can never actually get this to show. Oh, there we go. Oh, nice. It worked. 17. Might have been backwards, but who knows. Number 17. So we'll tell us, somebody will go in the comments and tell us who's the winner. And uh, somebody's going to win 30 free leads. So thank you so much, man. Really honored that you came here today. Um, if somebody wants to connect with you, uh, is there, what's the best way for them to do that? Best way, best way, best way. Just go to my website, likegrantwise.com, L-I-K-E, grantwise.com. You can connect with me any way that you want to from there. Uh, that would be the best way for you to start. And I know if you guys want to hear more from Grant, he's going to be a speaker at Agent 2021 with Gary Vaynerchuk. So that's awesome. Congratulations uh, on getting to speak there. And Thank you so I don't know if anybody on this call is going to go, but if you guys want to hear more from Grant, because he's got super powerful tips that you can implement right away, like you're hearing, you know, on, on uh, today's thing. So it looks like Dave Marzilla is the winner. So um, Dave Marzilla, congratulations. Contact me um, and we'll get your campaign going. And uh, thank you so much, Grant, for being here. Uh, congratulations to Dave Marzilla. And it looks like you're getting a bunch of love in the comments. People enjoyed your tips. So thank you so much for being here, man. Really appreciate that. We've got to go. Thank All you. Right, later.